Hey guys, today I'm doing a little vlog, um, going out and about, doing some Christmassy things, as well as I think heading to Costco, so stay tuned if you want to hang out. <laughs> So hey guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and leave a comment down below. Uh, today I'm off to Mottis Font with my mum and dad. We tried to go last year but <laughs> I think Mottis Font might have gone viral or something because for love nor money could we get to the Christmas display. Uh, me and mum went the previous year um, so we're hoping to go again today. It's a Monday so we think it's going to be a little bit quieter. Uh, Mottis Font is a national trust property um they uh yeah they're like stately homes um and like gardens and stuff like that so it's mum and dad's um anniversary today as well so it's another reason to go out they've never really been too into like celebrating it um so it's kind of just like coincidence might as well do it on this day <laughs> um so yeah i'm just waiting for them to come pick me up and we'll be on our way hi there vlog Hello everyone. Here we are, Modest Font. <laughs> in the burning sunshine. Sun burning your eyes out. What more could you want? What does it say? Farmer Christmas? North Pole? Are you on are you on the naughty list or the nice list, Dad? I'm um, I'm half and half at the half moment. Half and half at the moment. Yeah. Need to do some good deeds. Sack down there with my toys in there. There it is.
what did you think of it? Well, I thought it was very nice. Yeah, it was really good, wasn't it? I couldn't find my present, Rebecca. Couldn't find your present. There was, there was so, so many of them. And... <laughs> But yeah, it was really good. Lots yeah, it was. I thought lots it was very efforts, nice. efforts been made and a good story. Yeah, good story. yeah. I thought it was a bit excellent. Lovely for children to yeah. see that. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The amount of trees they've decorated is, is wonderful, really. You do know, it's, it's one of the kind of things you've got to take calmly and slowly, really. Yeah, prepare to queue. Else you don't, else you, there's a big queue. But... It's worth the queue. And the queue moved really quickly. Like, it was constantly moving. Oh, so. well, I thought that. But come as on a weekday. you can day, stand. Book a day off work. Don't come on a weekend. No, book a day you, off work. Well, not if you can help it. But, yeah. I mean, that queue is definitely 30 minutes. Yes. At least 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah, it was 30 minutes. But definitely but it's, worth it. But it hasn't got any longer than that, I've noticed. No, it's, it's constantly moving, constantly moving. Yeah, they've, so. got it, they've got it sussed it's in terms really of the movement. But it's only till three o'clock. Only till three o'clock. The, the queue closes at the three o'clock. The queue closes at yeah, three it does, yeah. But, oh, what did you think of it, Mum? Well, I thought it was absolutely fabby dabby, and I'm so glad we queued yeah. up for well, it. Well, mainly me queuing up for it, but well, so I'm glad that I queued up. <laughs> <laughs> she started the queue, and then I came and sat, sat, stood with her for a bit of company, and met Bill a few minutes later when we got to the front of the queue. But it was really, really good. It was really good. Every year they do a different story, don't they? They do, they do. I think the last time we went, was it Nutcracker? Gosh, I don't remember. All it right. wasn't, I don't think people knew about it. Last time we came, it was not that busy. We didn't have to queue to go in the house. And I don't know if it had a theme. I know there was lots and lots it was of Christmas amazing. trees and lots of beautiful lights. This year, and... though, they've done like a proper story and there's like... I'd have actually paid extra for that, I think. Yeah, but then you don't see all the rooms in the house. No, that's true. But, true. yeah, you get little, like, tickets and maps and yeah, very it, immersive experience. Very impressed. And, and we and, even met Father Christmas. Oh, we did! <laughs> <laughs> he was lovely. He was lovely. <laughs> he was very nice, wasn't he? He gave me a cuddle. <laughs> oh. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat. On the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing when December is when the children are singing. Yeah. It's Merry Christmas, baby. Christmas, baby. The snow is laying two feet deep. Now wish upon a falling. So, guys, <laughs> just got back home. We went to the Rockingham Arms in Wellow, and it wasn't great. <laughs> um, I think it's a place that used to be great, and a lot of the reviews on TripAdvisor were from the previous owners, but it has since changed hands and it's just not the same. Um, yeah, not going to go into too much depth because we don't want to ruin the holiday vibes. Uh, but yeah, don't, don't recommend going there. <laughs> so now going off to Costco, um, just wanted to like get straight there just because the wait for the food. Oh my God. Um, so yeah, I just want to get straight to Costco, have a good mooch around. It's Monday, so shouldn't be too busy. Get some petrol as well while we're there. And, uh, yeah. Oh, mum's, but well, I'm going back to my parents anyway because they've got my, uh, I've got to drop them some frozen prawnies off. 
but I'll also do a little haul of what we got at the National Trust. Little National Trust haul, we love it. This was what me and dad tried last year and it was very, very hard. These trees are really cute. They are 35 pounds each and I think they are, I think they are real. I think I want to get an iPad in the new year and these are the prices. Probably a, an iPad Air maybe? iPads are really expensive. I swear iPads used to be a lot cheaper. <laughs> this um, simple human mirror looks so good. It's very flashy, but it's not cheap. £120. But it looks really good. <laughs> I think this is a really good buy. We've got Ted Baker t-shirts for £16. I'm gonna get JP some for Christmas. JP also loves these socks from Penguin and they've currently got £3 off a seven pack so they're £12 for the pack uh, so I think I'm going to get him these too. I always think their books are really good to look at. They always have like the latest books for like really good prices um, and a great great place to get some gifts from as well. Costco is a really great place to get sketches from. Um, they currently have these white ones, which are really cute. And they also have these navy ones. Um, I got these ones and they were like 20 quid. A lot of the um, decorations are currently 50% off. Uh, you don't know they're on offer, but they have a seven priced on the end. I'll show you another example. This tree bag has a seven on the end, unlike the tape, which is 9.99. So this is currently on offer. I think this is why the ribbon is on offer because <laughs> you've only got a choice of white. But that could be really nice for like a wedding or something if you're not worried about using it for Christmas. The ribbon at uh, Costco is really, really nice quality. This is something I thought was really cool. It's called a battery daddy and it stores and organizes all of your batteries as well as you can see if it has charge. And I think this could be a really great secret Santa gift at 13 quid. They've also got loads of games in at the moment, loads of kid toys, LOL dolls, uh, Barbie, all sorts of stuff. These are so cute and they also have uh, superhero ones. And they've got absolutely massive <laughs> Squishmallows. I get why people like Squishmallows because they're so soft and cute. Um, I know I would, yeah, I get why people collect them because they are so cute. <laughs> so they used to have this umbrella that was really good and I never bought it because I had an umbrella and now my umbrella broke. Do they have it? Hell no, they do not have the umbrella. How annoying. I spoke too soon, I found the umbrella. This is the umbrella I wanted to get. It just looks a really good quality umbrella, um, a tenner. Can't go wrong really. And it will fit into my backpack. Now we're on to the Christmas food and look at all these panettones. Oh my gosh. Wow. This aisle has been very picked over. <laughs> these Karen's Bakery um biscuits are absolutely delicious if you ever see them in costco or anywhere they're really really good highly recommend i'm gonna get my brother and his family this giant box of gillian chocolates and it's literally eight pounds what bargain i think it's got maybe over 100 chocolates in there these cookies are so good i think these are a new flavor um coffee and walnut muffins. These bagels are really good. They don't freeze very well. Um, so you have to be able to eat them within the day. Just did some damage in the produce section. I got, they've got some loads of sweet clementines. But, oh, 
my favourite time of year is the Clementines. And then they had a sample of the Wookie Hole Cheddar and it was really good. So picked one of them up for the family for Christmas uh, and a brie as well, because the brie here is so good too and such a good buy. This looks really good, but not for £10. You're <laughs> getting about three spoonfuls of dessert, but it does look nice. These are so cute. Netflix dog toys, £13. The main reason for coming is this tempura shrimp. My dad loves these so much. This is new, Dunkin' French Vanilla Coffee, £5.99. Um, I don't know how you make this though. Like, is it just instant coffee? I don't know. So let me know how you make this. It's um, ground coffee. How do you make ground coffee? Am I being an idiot? I feel like this is a really good price as well, $5.99 for two really big tins of um, Starbucks hot chocolate. I think I'm gonna get this and put one in my niece's um, like gift basket. My mum lives and dies for this coarse ground black pepper as well, so picking her some up, because this goes out of stock quite often. This is actually a really good price for this Dreamland um, faux fur fro. I think these are about £120 on boots. So £71, although it's a lot of money, that is a really, really good deal. Um, for me, I just think I'd get too hot, but they do look lovely. They've also got some really affordable um, fro's, um, £11 and £10. And they're really cute as well. And they're so soft and like nice neutral colors. Really cute. They're also doing loads of American candy now. So they've got Laffy Taffy, um, Mike and Ike's. Has anyone tried this dried melon? Um, I love melon and I've never had it dried, um, but 8 50 <laughs> is a lot of money to try something. So. Let me know if you've tried it. I feel like whenever I want to try something, they never have samples of it. So it's almost five o'clock. Where's the day gone? I don't know. And my battery is running low. So see if I've got my phone charger will work in the car. I'm going to go back to my parents so I can drop off the fresh food, the frozen prawns, because I have no room in my freezer for the prawns. Pick up my National Trust stuff. Um, say goodbye to mum and dad. And yeah, that'll be the day done. So I'm gonna whack on some Christmas tunes. And uh, yeah, hopefully the traffic's not too, too bad. Cause it's just before five. So guys, we're running low on battery, but I'll just do you a quick haul for mum and dad. Uh, we got the Lint chocolate, uh, four pack. I believe it was a tenner, but then I think it's 12 with VIT. Uh, they love these so much, so grab them then while they're, they're always on offer at christmas aren't they mum i don't know all i know is i like eating them uh you love this yes so i got you some of that that there's often out of stock though that's because it's so good so good we've got this for christmas cheap cheddar from actual cheddar yeah which and i tried a sample and it was amazing then we got oh the brie which is so and by the time we get to eating it it will actually probably be the right maturity yes, yes, yeah yes. you do have to these are like ripen at home breeze uh then we've got a big box of the tempura shrimp that dad likes and it comes with a soy dipping sauce oh, and nice. then uh sweet clams easy to peel three pound fifty for that okay that's very good that you can't get that any cheaper and it doesn't come with all the leaves which well, i feel you've got to have the leaves you've got to have the well, leaves the leaves are good for if you're decorating with them but if you're mm. eating them it adds to your weight and you get less clams oh right oh my goodness me, i haven't put my lipstick on oh i haven't got my lipstick on anymore we're gonna i'm so do, tired <laughs> we're gonna do our national trust haul now mum, aren't we we are we are Right, you're going to show your buys first. Okay, so... Quite quickly as well, because the battery is... Oh, my goodness. She's running out. Right. Some of you know I like to do artwork, so I've bought these um, small soft pastels. They had a great art section, didn't they? Yeah, they did. It was obviously not like an art shop, but... Um, look, Ooh! Teeny, teeny, teeny. What's your favourite colour? 
My favourite colour. I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know. I quite like that green, and I, I quite like, like the turquoise. I like and this blue, like periwinkle blue. Yes, yeah, so that's sort of a, so, what I would use for um, bluebell woods. If you're yes, bluebell woods, but beautiful colours. But I've already sent a link, and a photograph to uh, my friend who wants to start buying some pastels, and uh, she's quite impressed with the price. Eight pounds. Eight pound. That's oh, a very good. Yeah. Well, I think it's a good buy. I don't think the quality is, is, is as well. It's not, others, yeah. But, you know, but when you're used to your Terry Ludwigs or, or Unison pastels, Unison pastels yeah. you know, but it's, good to have it's a like choice. the Chanel of the soft pastel yes, world. It is, it is. <laughs> Can't wait to inherit them. <laughs> don't you dare give them away, Rebecca. Anyway, and then I bought some um, charcoal, charcoal sticks, charcoals. which I think you can get at art supplies. But it's just nice to support. Yeah, the National it, Trust. Yes, and uh, I think it was actually produced. Was it produced locally? Well, I know they certainly do produce um, charcoal sticks in the New Forest. Oh, that's so, cool. um, yeah, and it's quite good for putting putting down your rough sketch at the beginning. So that was that. Then, um, hang on, there's a couple of jars here. Preserves. Jingleberry extra oh, jam. That sounds. What's in that then? Oh my goodness me! Um, let's have a little looky. It's round here, I think. Oh, right. Two seconds. Oh, gosh. Um, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. Oh, wow. Sweet orange pulp, lemon pulp. Oh, all the usual Just sort of stuff. everything, then. So, it's, I think it's mixed dark berry I like fruits. the design of the Christmas collection. Yeah. And I'm not going to open it to, to no, sniff no, it. No, 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 no. Saving that for yeah, Christmas. Right. Saving that. And then we've got uh, Mottis Font Mango and Ginger Oh, chutney. wow. And I actually had mango um, chutney on my list of things well, to buy. That's lovely. And it's got a picture of Mortis font there on the yeah. side. Yeah. And it's a nice, lovely. nice big bar. Big jar as well. Yeah. yeah. Big, big jar. Because I don't know, you guys, what you use your mango chutney for. But I stick some in stews and things like that as well, just to give it a little bit of sweetness. So. It sticks everywhere. Yeah. And then, um, well, Rebecca treated me, which I will share with Bill. Milk chocolate Christmas pudding bar. I just thought it sounded yummy. It did, didn't it? And again, yeah. nice packaging. Nice packaging. We do like our packaging. We do have a sack of our packaging. Yeah. Bill's gone and had a little lie down. He's a bit oh, tired, so he's day. not here at the it's moment. Been a long day, especially at the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, the restaurant. It was very long. Very wasn't long. It? <laughs> yeah, very long day. And then um, I bought some earrings, and they were made Aww. by a local um, bespoke. Bespoke by Kate, and there's her Instagram. Yeah. Bespoke by Kate. Yes. I might go have a look at her Instagram. They're made by polymer clay. And I'll tell you what, they're very affordable for how yeah. much... They're all handmade, so I think, yeah. And I love all the colours and mm. stuff. Yeah, I think that could suit any season, if you think about very it. very unusual. It? Yeah. I like this. Yes. Very nice. So that was my purchases. Um... That's my turn. So we've got a big bag. Um, that was 30p. <laughs> That's big bag. Oh, hello, Opal. Hello. Opal. Oh, who remembers Opal? <laughs> From never we used to, Yeah, she used, used to be to on our videos, and video. you're back on our videos again, Yay. aren't you? Yeah, you can't see Op um, well, Cassie I because Cassie out. is actually out in yeah. the dark garden. In the dark. Mm. Anyway. So, the first thing I picked up was this little cutie. It's a little felt. Robin and tweet, I just tweet, thought tweet, tweet, tweet. it was so cute and I thought that would look nice on my kitchen windowsill yes. and you could have that out all winter I think because hmm. it's not Robins aren't just for Christmas no they're not but I do think you need to take it down when summer comes because they oh, all, yeah, yeah, they yeah, all yeah. just no they all disappear in summer yeah they all um go off somewhere this was handcrafted by Mrs Poonam Sharma that's very cool. So they make sure they like pay all their artisans fairly. This is made by Fiona Walker. And this is his name is Ralph. Oh, Ralph the Robin. Was, uh, yeah, Ralph the Robin, £12. Which I think is a pretty good price for cute. And it's just so fat. I love him. Chunky. <laughs> and then I picked up these olives et al. Pigs in blankets mixed nuts. These are for Ooh, JP. I love because he loves pigs in blankets and I can't take any over for him uh, this Christmas. So I thought I would take them in nut form because he also likes nuts. Mm. So it's a double, double whammy. whammy yeah. yeah, double whammy. I also picked up some Hampshire honey 
because I really like honey. This is a bit bloody dusty. It's been hanging out in National Trust for a while. <laughs> You're not supposed um, to notice that. <laughs> but I just, it was eight quid, which I think for like local honey is pretty good. Um, and yeah, we've got to support the bees and the beekeepers. And, you know, if you take... Local eight, honey, yes. but less hay fever. Yes, yes. So um, I just fancied it. I mm. just fancied it. Just go for it. That's right. And then mum treated me to also a pair of earrings from Bespoke by Kate. And they are so pretty. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Perfect for spring. I loved all the colours. They're little dingly danglies. Mm, nice. Um, yeah, I really, really like them. And these were £16, which, again, I just think... For, like, how kind of, like, intricate they are and, like, I don't know, I just thought they were a good price and I, I just nice, nice colour story. And I think, also, it's beautifully packaged, is not it, it, as is. well? It is. It's a whole story. Yeah. It's a whole yeah. story. So, um, uh, yeah, and then I'm impressed by that. We also got, I also got myself a bar of chocolate. Oh, upside down. <laughs> it's got milk chocolate with raisins and orange-flavoured jelly pieces and infused with mixed spice. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, and I like that it's milk chocolate because I don't really like milk chocolate. So, <laughs> yeah, and again, I like the packaging. But yeah, that is the end. I think that's the end of the vlog in general, Mum, isn't it? I think it is. We've had it's quite a long day, really, time haven't we? moving on. We spent like almost Ooh. seven hours together. That's oh my goodness me, that is a lot of time. Now you can go home, Becky. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. Definitely. And leave us a comment down below. What National Trust have you been to and what is your favourite one? But what if people don't live in the UK? Do people well, outside... Well, they just kind of like a... What like good a places stately to go home. in. Yes. Yeah, like um, I don't know what they are in America. Her heritage sites. Heritage sites, yes, yeah. yeah. Um, I always think it's nice to exchange ideas about different places. Yeah, because we're going to take you to the Rothschild one in... Um, South of France. Mm. Yeah, Chateau Rothschild. There we go. Mm, so. so, watch this space. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, see you later. Bye. Bye.